Hello everyone. So this video is about embossed water, which is used for pairwise alignment of sequences. Means if you have two sequences and you want to compare them, you want to see similarity between them, so you can use this embossed water tool. So how you can use this tool and how you can interpret the results given by this tool, so it will be clear in this video. So in order to open this embossed water, just open your browser and search for the tool that is embossed water and the first website that is www.ebi.ac.uk so this is the main website because it is a tool of european bioinformatic institute so that's why ebi so just click on this website which start with the ebi so you will now be on the home page of this emboss water so this is the name of the tool that is embossed water and what it do so it just perform the pairwise sequence alignment here in the first column you have to choose that what type of sequences you have you may either have protein sequences or you may either have the nucleotide sequences so you can change it according to your sequences like just i'm changing it to dna now these are the two boxes so in these two boxes you have to paste your two sequences like in the first box you have to enter your first sequence and in the second box you have to paste your second sequence so just for demo purpose i have already downloaded two sequences like these are the two sequences so i am just going to perform the pairwise alignment among these two sequences so just first copy the first sequence and now paste it here in the first box like this you can also choose the file of first sequence instead of copy and pasting you can choose the file of first sequence also now in the second box we have to paste the second sequence so again move back to sequences and now this time i'm just selecting the second sequence just copy it and paste it in the box like this you can also upload the file of your second sequence by choosing file now this is the output format that is pairwise alignment now just click there is one more option that is be notified by email so you can click here and enter your email so that the result will be emailed to you and after that you can click on the submit button so just click on the submit button as you click on the submit button it will take few seconds to show you the result as you can see the job is currently running and this is the job id now the results are just there how to interpret these results so this is about the program that is program run was embos water and this is the run date now just move here so these are the results so i'm just zooming it for you so that you can see it clearly now this is the length of the sequences this is the identity that is the identity between these two sequences is 77.1 percent and there is a similarity now this is the main you can see the main results of their alignment here the this is the first sequence while this is the second sequence and now they are aligned how to interpret this alignment so these vertical lines they represent the you can say same same nucleotide in both of the sequences means they are matched like hey, here you can see a and, and in the second sequence this is a so means in both sequence a is there so there is a vertical line so it means vertical line shows the you can say similar sequences in the both sequences here you can notice there is a dot in this in this reason where the dot is there so now you can analyze that dot represent that there is mismatch means here you can clearly see in the first sequence c is there while in the second sequence g is there so means there is not any similarity between c and g because if there is g and there is c so there is they are not similar so that's why the line is this vertical line is not there then it is represented by the dot so you can see the mismatch is represented by the dot and these slashes or you can say these bars they represent you can say they do not find any nucleotide corresponding to these nucleotide in the first sequences so there is not any sequence corresponding to these sequences so they are represented by these dashes 
so by this you can interpret the result again repeating the vertical line means similar base or nucleotide while dot represent that there is a mismatch or the base is not similar in both the sequences and these dashes they represent that there is not any base present correspond to these bases so by this you can see the complete result so these are the complete result of your pair wise alignment you can use them now if you see in this tab under the submission detail tab if you click here so it will show you the information of or your submission like the program run water the version is 6.6.0 .6 this is the launch date and and means when well, when the result was available now here the first input sequence so this is the link of the first input sequence if you click here so it will show you the first sequence so this is the first sequence which i just gave to the software just click this back arrow you will move back to this page and this is a link of this second input sequence if you click here so it will show you the sequence of second complete sequence of second sequence and this is the link of output result if you click here so it will show you the output result so as these are the output result which i just discussed with you earlier so by this you can see the detail of your you can say all the sequences and results and if you want to see the alignment so you can either click on this link of output result or you can also click on this alignment tab so if you click here you will move back to the alignment page so now these are the alignment which are i just discuss with you so by using this emboss water tool you can perform the pair wise alignment of your sequences and by which you can find out the similarity between two sequences means how much similar the two sequences are so this is a very important tool which can be used for pair wise alignment so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much